Because I take a look at a lot of electric skateboards on this channel, I've had the opportunity to ride many different kinds of boards, from long boards to short boards, any boards, and even crazy novelty boards. I've never had the electric skateboard. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about boosted boards. I've never had a boosted board, contrary to common belief. I don't know. Just never got one. Until now. Sort of. So a couple of videos ago, you saw me unbox a boosted board deck that Backfire sent me, and it dawned on me. I finally have a boosted board deck. But with that deck, I can make my very own boosted board. Now I'm not that well versed in the ins and outs of DIYing your own electric skateboard. So I'm actually gonna be doing this the easiest way possible. This is gonna be the easiest DIY boosted board ever. So here's everything we're gonna use for this build. First things first, the deck. This is the Boosted Plus deck. Back in the day, Boosted used to use loaded boards for their V1 and V2 models. Specifically, the loaded Vanguard deck known for its flex, bounce, comfort, carvability, and stunning good looks. Can't relate. In the latest generation of Boosted boards before they went out of business, they actually created their own decks to use for their boards. It is known as their Super Flex Composite deck. This deck retains the characteristic flex and deep carving capabilities that Boosted's been known for, but with even more strength and vibration dampening. This is the deck that we're using for this build. It's an actual Boosted board deck. I believe this is for the Boosted Plus. It is their super composite flex deck. Beautifully designed, natural wood, blacks, grays, whites. It's it's a sick looking deck. Next part, grip tape. As far as I know, Boosted Board used pretty standard grip tape. They might have used maybe slightly coarser longboard grip tape, but overall it seemed to be pretty standard. But that's not what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna make this even better than a Boosted Board. We're gonna be using Dope Grip. The reason why I like Dope Grip is because it's actually made out of foam or neoprene and it, it, it's soft. It's much thicker than normal grip tape. It adds padding to the board, which helps make for a more comfortable ride and it can help absorb some shock and vibrations from the road. It does all this while still being super gnarly coarse. Like this, this grip, when you're standing on it, you will not move. You're gonna be locked in. My feet do not slip at all. As you can see up top, there is no grip tape. So I will be using some of Dope Grip's grip tape. It's a cushioned grip tape actually. So it's a little softer, it helps pad some of the vibrations during your ride. And it's just super gnarly. Like this thing will rub your face off. You can get it in square, like normal sheets or hexagonal patterns. I think I'm gonna do a mix of both. I haven't quite decided yet, but this is the grip tape we're gonna go with. And remember when I said that this is gonna be the easiest DIY boosted board ever? That's because we're using the Revel Kit. This is an all-in-one solution. It's a bolt-on motor that you can attach to any skateboard or longboard to make it a motorized skateboard or longboard. I'm fond of this kit because it's got smooth acceleration, smooth braking, and when it comes to a motor, can't really ask for more than that. Should be pretty fast too and has a good amount of range. As you can see, there's no battery in here. I actually have it off the kit because this kit has hot swappable battery, hot swappable batteries. Ugh, say that 10 times fast. Just go, bow, batteries in to take it off. Press the button, pull, it's off. You can carry multiple batteries in your backpack. Unlimited range. But I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it back in. The drive on these motors are direct drive, unlike Boosted Board's belt drive. These are the motors themselves. When these spin, the wheels spin. Unlike Boosted Board's belt drive, there's gonna be a lot less maintenance. I don't have to change belts or anything like that. And it's less bulky too. This drive has taken a beating. I've been taking it off of like ramps and stuff and uh, it still works. <laughs> For the front truck, we're gonna go with a generic black longboard truck. It'll be fine. For wheels, we're going with orangutan. Orangutan and Loaded are in the same family. And again, back in the day, Boosted used to use orangutan wheels for their V1 and V2 Boosted boards. They use the now iconic ADA urethane blend for their wheels. But for the V3 models and later, they actually created their own urethane. Supposedly, they're supposed to be softer and better, but difference is probably marginal because Orangutan wheels are really good wheels. They've been making longboard wheels for a long time and this is Boosted's first time making wheels. I'm sure they're fine, but 
I don't, I don't have any. So we're gonna go with these purple orangutan wheels. So we're gonna use orangutan kagwama wheels. These are the 83A urethane, I believe, the purple ones. I still think orangutan makes some of the best longboard wheels out in the market. So we're gonna be using these for the build. They also make bushings and inside of the truck is, I can't get the name, but you can kind of see it right there. These are orangutan nipples. That's what their bushings are called and they're, they're, they're good bushings, nice and soft and supple. All right, so we have all the pieces to make our very own boost board. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together and we're gonna go ahead and try our very own DIY boosted board. If you're wondering what the flex on the super composite flex deck looks like, it looks like this. Oh yeah, they weren't kidding when they said super flex. Now it's not like a saggy flex or anything, it's actually kind of springy and bouncy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I dig it. All right, I say we take this bad boy for a spin, yeah? Let's go through all the different speed modes. Why not? This is speed mode one. <laughs> uh, I know I wasn't expecting much, but <laughs> it's pretty slow. Car delicious though. Woo! Speed mode two. Oh yeah, that's a little better. Woo. Oh. Oh yeah, see that flex? That's that, that's that super flex. Let's kick it up to three. Still carve around a little bit too. Woo! Yeah, boy. Oh, top speed test time. Top speed test time. All right, top speed test time. My only goal here is to go faster than a boosted plus, which goes at a max at 22 miles per hour. If we can go faster than a boosted stealth at 24 miles per hour, that'd be dope. I think we can beat that top speed, but. Let's go ahead and just do it real quick. Woo! Oh yeah. Uh, I feel like we got the top speed pretty quick. Yo. And we break in. Yeah, baby. A new buddy here, Andrew. He's going to be helping me film, and he only knows how to ride well he's only had experience riding the shortboard electric skateboard so this is going to be his first time trying a longboard style with a wider wheelbase and a flexi deck you up for it 
It's like learning to walk again. <laughs> you got it, dude. If you can ride that at 27 miles per hour, you can ride that. I know you've never ridden a boosted board before. My crap is on it. <laughs> but I can tell you that other than the feeling of a belt driven board, this is pretty darn close. What did you think of it? How did it ride? I think from my experience as a, definitely coming from a longboard background, it was a lot of fun because I ride the Meeple Mini right now and it's stiff, it's small. I like it like that because I like the kicktail. But the flexiness is a whole nother, it's a whole nother level of riding. I feel like it's a whole, it's a different kind of ride. It's definitely, you get that bounce, that response. And uh, as someone who's been longboarding for a while and, and riding my Meeple for a while, I felt like it was like a first ride feeling, like that kid smile that just comes on your face. Oh yeah, you're wearing a mask right now, but yeah. I can tell that you're smiling. Yeah, you, you could, I'll feel like <laughs> see it. This experiment was a lot of fun and I'm excited to do more builds like this. Let me know what you thought of this board we just put together. And if you have any other ideas of the type of boards you wanna see me build on this channel, let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you made it this far into the video, thumbs ups are great. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Stoked Squad so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Till next time guys, stay stoked, I'm out, peace.